Welcome back in the cyber panel tutorial series and uh, in our previous video we saw how you can set up the DNS records for your domain name. Just note that after setting up the DNS records you might need to to give your domain some time uh, uh, to propagate especially if you had to change the name servers but if uh, the name servers uh, remained and uh, uh, you uh, you just uh, updated the the a record uh, the domain name should uh, not take um, much time to uh, to be accessible online so after propagation uh, usually propagation after you purchase the domain name and adding the uh, the correct um, uh, dns records takes uh, usually around three hours in some extreme cases it might take uh, 24 hours so after that, uh, after the DNS uh, records are set up, we can now peacefully add our domain and expect to uh, to view it online. So uh, uh, we navigate. Let us navigate to the um, uh, Cyber Panel Admin Dashboard, and this is where we are. Remember, in our first, uh, in our second uh, video, we covered how to access this dashboard if you haven't watched it and you you are not sure how to get to uh, this dashboard please uh, refer to uh, that video all right so uh, in this uh, section let us uh, click on this uh, 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 section websites Now that we want to add a new website, we click on create a website. But if you wanted to see a list of the available website, there's the option that we would have selected. Then if you wanted to edit an existing website or other domain, this is where we would have done. If you wanted to delete, if you wanted to suspend, just click on the, uh, on the option uh, of the op uh, that is a... Uh, uh, in accordance with the operation that you want to, to undertake. So click on, in our case, let's click on create website. So in this pack, in this, uh, in this page, uh, we are going to select the, the package. Uh, during the overview, we are able to, to see the, the default uh, package, but if you have multiple packages, they will appear here. So in our case, let us go with the default package then for the for the owner remember we created an, uh, an a new user with the name done but we are going to use a uh, admin then the domain name uh, the domain name section you are given a disclaimer do not enter the ww so let us have uh, the domain name so for the email we can have admin at domain name and that will be uh, enough then we are going to select the php version usually uh, you can make a mistake here by selecting older versions or other versions that are not compatible but uh, usually uh, php 7.4 as at the time of recording this video was a stable version and uh, works with uh, many uh, websites but uh, in case uh, the website you want to set up requires an older version 7.2 7.3 or uh, version that are not here you can uh, install the php version but basically in another video we'll see how you can uh, uh, install another version of uh, php that is not included here so in our case let us select uh, php 7.4 so in the addition of features uh, you have some features that you can click but uh, for the uh, since uh, some of them we are going to cover them later uh, I choose not to select any of them but there is no harm uh, checking on SSL uh, DKIM support open based uh, directory protection and all that so uh, let us just click on create so just give it some time to to complete the setup And in uh, less than a minute, our domain name has uh, successfully been uh, added to our cyber panel. 
so uh, to confirm that let us navigate to uh, to to, the, to our domain name and uh, just reload that page and there we go we are being told that cyber panel has been installed and all that so it was that simple so let us just go back to the dashboard then uh, websites then uh, we can list websites so that we can check your website is listed here and uh, we see that our website is listed here so basically uh, through this uh, route we can also access the uh, the file manager so you can either click on file manager or just click on manage so let's go with manage And we have another uh, ton of uh, options here that you can check through. So uh, that marks the end of uh, this tutorial. So basically we were learning how to, to add a domain name to uh, the cyber panel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video as we, um, as we set up WordPress. Goodbye.